talk to another Nifty 50 company, uh, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories. They declared their numbers yesterday. There was a spike after the numbers, but then it's, it's trying to cool down today. Let's welcome in the management, G.V. Prasad, co-chairman and CEO at Dr. Reddy's is now joining us. So if you could just start by the quarter highlight, what's happened in this quarter? Well, it was not a great quarter. It was muted performance on the back of, uh, you know, in increased price erosion and lack of new approvals. Uh, but you know, in spite of that, it wasn't. It was flattish compared to the previous year. Uh, so nothing really stood out as such. Can you talk about new launches for next year? FI18 was challenging, though. Yeah. So the performance for uh, most companies uh, operating out of India, a large percentage of the profits come from the U.S. And the U.S. has seen significant challenges both at a general level as well as for us as a company. So we are working on both fronts. Uh, we're working on approvals for some special products where we expect to see very limited competition. If we get those approvals in the next few months, that should see a significant rise uh, in both revenues and profits. We are also trying to reduce our cost base to effectively compete in this very highly hyper-competitive space now. So cost optimization is also a priority. And uh, we are also looking at driving growth in other markets, both in emerging markets as well as India, and uh, allocating capital in a way that uh, supports the growth of these markets even more. Hi, Mr. Prasad. This is Nanta joining in from uh, the New Delhi studio. Can you throw some color on what it is that your shareholders and the analyst community can expect as far as margins go? Going forward, there do seem to be a lot of favorables at play, including the uh, currency tailwinds. Uh, can you throw some light on that? So the assets that we acquired, Suboxone and Novering, these are two very important assets. And I believe they are in the final leg of approvals, uh, approval cycle. So there is some back and forth going on with the FDA. Once those are resolved, I think we should be able to launch both these products. And then we have a range of other products from our own organic pipeline. Uh, and uh, th those should add to the growth. Okay, so now let's get down to the specifics and we'll begin with the U.S. business. Does the company continue to face uh, pricing pressure? Uh, what is it that you're expecting in the uh, new year? So margins will remain at this level. I don't think they'll go up. And uh, we need to look at uh, cost management uh, to uh, improve uh, the, or even to counter the increased price erosion. So managing costs and launching new products should uh, help us improve or maintain margins. So do you think FY19 will be a better year for the U.S. markets? Pricing will be, uh, you know, pricing is a function of competition. So for the mature assets, we will continue to see pricing pressure. Even some of the other geographies in this quarter did not increase much. Can you talk about other geography areas as well? What happened? We hope so. Certainly for us, I think we hope to get our uh, approvals. We hope to get our facilities cleared from the FDA and then start launching some interesting products. What about the emerging markets? Uh, you know, what kind of prospects do you see for yourself over there? Are you as bullish as you have always been? So I think Russia, we had a muted quarter, but that situation is reversing itself. That was a temporary situation where we had to destock a certain channel. We did that and sales have improved now. Uh, I think overall emerging markets should do well this year. Thanks so much, uh, Dr. Prasad, for joining us and explaining us what did you make of this quarter. Let's get into.